Uh, my name is Roger Tolleson, and I was a chief aviation ordinanceman. For graduate assistant athletic trainer Roger Tolleson, coming to college didn't come by the normal route. I enlisted, I actually enlisted while I was still in high school in December of 1983. Um, I didn't actually go on active duty until August of 1984, and then I retired in July of 2004. After high school, furthering his education didn't really appeal to him, so he chose the next best thing. Well, at the time, um, I wasn't really into school too much, and my grades weren't that great, and I had a single parent, and I knew she couldn't afford to send me to, cook, to school, so I did the next best thing and decided to join the Navy. I grew up loving airplanes. Um, I was in the Civil Air Patrol in high school, and which is like part of the Air Force, auxiliary of the Air Force. So you'd think I would have went the Air Force direction, but I just liked the airplanes that the Navy had better. I started boot camp in Great Lakes, Illinois, which is about it's about 40 miles north of Chicago, uh, right outside Waukegan, Wisconsin. Is that was yes, Wisconsin. I actually went from um, boot camp to Memphis to Millington and that's where I actually went to school to learn my job. Um, when you're in boot camp you just learn the basic Navy knowledge. Um, then I went on to Millington and went to aviation ordinance, what they call A school, um, and learn on, on different aircraft and learn on the different weapons and stuff. Um, I handled all the, the we weapon systems on the aircraft as well as um, the type of airplane I flew on, we chased submarines. So I dealt with all the uh, equipment that we used to drop in the water to chase submarines. As a member of the Navy, Roger fought in the first desert storm. Actually on the ground combat, no. Um, during the first desert storm, we flew um, missions in the Persian Gulf, Arabian Gulf, um, doing targeting for A6 um, attack aircraft and just pretty much patrolling for any patrol boats and stuff like that. After his service, he had to make a new career choice. I actually wanted to get into law enforcement, um, but then the more I looked at it, you know, that just wasn't really what I needed to do at that time in my life. And I was actually trying to buy a house there. So I went into the bank and was talking to the bank president, and then he offered me a job. I mean, I went in there to get a loan and walked out with a job. So. I started working in, uh, in the bank and became the data processing manager, which dealt with all the incoming checks and all the computer and hardware and all that stuff. So I did that for a few years and I realized banking really wasn't my cup of tea. Um, so I went, got offered a job to work at a physical therapy rehabilitation company and their billing part of it but I was actually the, the IT director. So I dealt with all the computer systems throughout the entire company, in which we had six clinics spread all over the state. <coughs> and that's where I got introduced. Well, I'd already been introduced to athletic training, but that's where you know, I worked with athletic trainers and physical therapists. And I realized then that I didn't want to be sitting in a computer in a dark room with the air conditioner blowing. I wanted to be outside and I wanted to do something I enjoyed. So I, that's when I realized, you know, I could make money doing computers, but it just wasn't any fun. That was when he decided to go to college and start at Delta State, which wasn't always that easy. Oh, it was a challenge. <laughs> it was tough trying to get up every morning and, and get over here and, and do all the stuff you had to do for athletic training and then go back and then still do school work and still, you know, work at your job and try to raise a daughter too. No, actually, I, I didn't feel challenged at all. I mean, I, I'm sure I st stuck out like a sore thumb because, you know, most folks don't expect to see someone my age in school. Um, I just made the best of my opportunities. And everybody, everybody here, I mean, this school, everyone treated me just like everyone else. I mean, I'm, I wasn't treated any differently. I'm sure it was kind of tough on some of my professors though. After he finishes being a graduate student at Delta State, he would like to continue as an athletic trainer at the collegiate level. I mean, I can work at a high school too, but just the challenges that you face working at a high school, um, not that I wouldn't mind a challenge, but I, I think at the college level, they realize what they're trying to accomplish. 
and so I just want to help them get there. Um, at the high school level, they really still don't know what they want to do in life. And, you know, some of these guys already know. Whatever is next, Roger knows the sky is the limit. No, I'm just going to keep my options open. Um, I would like to stay at the college level and work as an athletic trainer at a, one of the colleges. Um, I don't know, I'm just going to see where it takes me. Um, I'm still young.